what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. thing you need to make sure you do is shoot the actual video in 360 mode and not single lens mode. If you shoot it in single lens mode, you won't be able to do the tiny planet effect. So 360, 360, 360. Cool, so once you've got your clip on the timeline, you need to decide how it is you want the final video to look. Do you want the whole video to be just the tiny planet or do you want it to start off in a normal view and then transition into the tiny planet and maybe transition out of the tiny planet or transition into the tiny planet and then like do different zooms in and out and rolling around and then zoom out and whatever as you saw in the intro there's so many different ways to to, to mess around with the effect and create different effects with it um so let's just go through it. that's super super easy um so with this clip on the timeline, what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna show you how to simply create a video where the tiny planet is just the whole video. So I'm gonna find the start point where I want. Uh, so I'm gonna to get to start about there. I'm gonna just reframe it by getting my mouse and clicking on the preview window and making sure that I'm in the center. And then I'm simply gonna press the keyframe button, which is this plus button here, and add a keyframe to the timeline then this pop-up box will appear. Uh, you can see you've got all these different options um, and at the top, you wanna go to the third one along and go to the tiny planet. Bingo, look at that. There we are walking on the tiny planet. Simple as that. Now, you might think that this is a little bit too far away as in you wanna zoom in a little bit. So no problem, just go back to the keyframe by clicking on it. And then these options you've got underneath is, is just all the different options to play around with. Um, to zoom in, you wanna use uh, this option, which is the field of view control um, in the bottom left. And simply just zooming in a little bit will make the planet uh, look bigger. And then playing that now, that looks a lot better. Um, equally, if you wanted to go even further out and make it even smaller, then you can, but just bearing in mind there will come a point where you won't be able to go any further because it would just be a planet within a planet. And yeah, that doesn't look good. So let's go back to this. So yeah, so that's simply it. Having the whole tiny planet for the whole video. There you go. Now make sure you get your in and out markers correct. So I wanna start that just on the keyframe. And then depending on where you want the video to end, so how long you want the clip to be, so let's say I want it there, I'm just gonna get my end point and drag it, um, get my end point and drag it there. Or you can use these in and out buttons at the top. And then everything within the in and out will now be exported when we go to export. And yeah, you don't need to add any more keyframes to that. It will literally export as this. So we're now gonna do the same thing, but instead of having the whole video, the tiny planet, we're gonna start off normal view and transition into the tiny planet and then transition out back to normal view. So using the same clip here, I'm gonna start pretty much the same place as last time. And I'm gonna just get the position where I want it to start. So again, me in the center, and then I'm gonna add a keyframe to lock that in as the normal view. But this time we're not gonna select the tiny planet for the first keyframe because we wanna keep this as the view. Then I'm gonna scrub along a few seconds and add another keyframe, which this keyframe will be the tiny planet keyframe. So same as before, add keyframe and then press tiny planet and I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit more like we did before, because I like the planet to be a bit bigger. Cool, and then if I play that from the first keyframe to the second keyframe, you can see 
there's the transition from normal view to tiny planet. Now that is quite a quick transition. So if you want it to be a bit slower, just get your second keyframe, which is the tiny planet keyframe and drag it along a little bit further. So now when we play it from keyframe to keyframe, you can see it's a lot more slower than it was before. Again, if you want it quicker, then just drag it closer to the first keyframe. But I think that's pretty much, yeah, I think that's cool, leaving it there. Um, and then if we now want to transition back to normal view, uh, we're going to add another keyframe and this time we're going to put the view back to default which is what it was at the beginning and just get me in the center again and now when we play it from the second keyframe which is the tiny planet to the third keyframe you can see it transitions back to normal view which is where we started so now when i play it from the first keyframe all the way to the third keyframe, you can see we transition from normal view to tiny planet view, and then from tiny planet view to normal view. Again, if the transition from tiny planet to normal view is too uh, too quick, you can drag the keyframe along even further to slow it down. Equally, if you don't want to transition out and you want it to stay on the tiny planet, then just don't add a third keyframe, so delete that. And then from one to two, it will transition to tiny planet and then we've got no more keyframes so it will just stay at that that's an option as well again it's just what how you want the video to the end result to look you can just mess around with that any which way you want and that is transitioning in and out of the tiny planet let's say you wanted to add some cool rolling or zoom in effects you can do this by using the pop-up box that appears when you click the add keyframe button or you can use your mouse to freely move it around the preview window which i'll show you in a minute so let's bring it back to the tiny planet and then you see on this pop-up box so far uh the two options we've really only used are tiny planet and this zoom in uh, option but at the end here you've got roll angle this will um simply rotate it left or right 360 um so if we just bring it back to the normal tiny planet and then we go a few seconds later and add another keyframe and on this keyframe we rotate it all the way around to the left and then we go back to keyframe number one and we play it you can see that it's just adding this kind of rotation effect um, so yeah, you can play around with that and it doesn't have to rotate the full 360, uh, whatever you want to do and how you want it to look. Just, yeah, that's how you play around with the roll angle. Um, and then what I was saying about using the mouse to freely move it around the preview window is if you just press down on the preview window like you usually would to change the angle of view of something. If I just delete this keyframe here um, and you can see you've just got all of this free option to change the field of view to these crazy crazy views like look at this this is just i don't even know what you would call well that is a bad back that view that is a bad back that that's what that's called but yeah you've got the option to kind of do things like this um which obviously isn't tiny planet but um i, mean, I guess it's like an inside out tiny planet so if we lock that in as a new keyframe now and go back to first keyframe you can see from that keyframe to get that keyframe, one to two, it's like zooming in now to an inside out tiny planet. And then if you wanted to go super cool and make me walk around the whole, uh, the whole like outside of it, we can add another keyframe, let's say here and do that rolling effect where we will rotate it all the way around. Lock that there. So from two to three, it's like I'm now walking upside down around this kind of tunnel inside out planet. So you can see you've just like got unlimited options to play around with and have some fun and make it look as cool as you want. And then let's say we wanted to add another keyframe there and just get my mouse and zoom it all the way back out to the tiny planet. You got that. So yeah, it's just, it's just unlimited. It's just, you could just have so much fun with it. Don't forget though, um, drag your in and out points or use these buttons at the top to uh, select the area you want to export because if you don't, then everything within these two 
uh, markers will be exported. So let's say we only want the keyframes to be exported. I will just leave the in and out markers there. And then that is the only bit and section that will be exported. And then once you're ready to export, hit the magic yellow button in the bottom right of the screen and the export pop-up window will appear. Make sure export reframed video is selected at the top. Change the file name if you want and the file path of where you want it to be saved. Make sure the bitrate is at 50 minimum. If you want to export in 4K, change the dimensions to 3840 by 2160. And then if you've shot in 60 FPS, you have the option to change the export to 30 or keep it at 60. And then just press start export and let it export. Import it into your normal video editing software. Add some music, bang it all together and you're done. And that is that, as you can see, you've got so many different ways of making it look. It's a super cool effect to use. Have some fun with it. And if you wanna check out any of my other videos relating to Insta360 or actually anything else on my channel, then please do.